Hi parents, soon to be parents and all guardians, welcome to Life with Little Ones channel and in our today's video, we will learn about how to protect your little one's well-being. So my dear parents, if you are ready, let's get into it. But before we start, I just want to remind you that this video is for informational purposes only. In our effort to balance very full and hectic lives with our families and our jobs, we may have been neglecting and all important phases of our child's life, and that is their emotional well-being. The first three years of a child's life is a critical time for a child, and the trauma of changing child care's provider or having a part-time parent float in and out of their life can be very traumatic and destabilizing for them. It is important that parents, educators, involved adults, and care providers make a concerted, joint effort to ensure that a child's emotional needs are met on a daily basis just as their physical needs are. The effects of not meeting a child's emotional needs, especially during their first three years of life, can have devastating consequences. Violent, disruptive, or defiant behavior can result. The first three years of life are critical in a number of ways. This is when bonding and emotional separation takes place. If there are interruption in either of these processes, misbehaviors from the child can result. This can later have an effect on their relationships later in life and hinder them in developing their own healthy relationships as adolescents or adults. During the first three years of life, the brain goes through its most rapid development ever, the likes of which will never be experienced again. By the time they are three years old, a child's brain is already hardwired from the experiences they had to that point. It is important that this be loving, supportive, safe, positive experiences so the brain will be conditioned to expect positive things. If the experiences have been frightening, hurtful, abusive, or dangerous, then the brain is conditioned to expect negative occurrences. Therefore, it is critical that parents, caregivers, and other involved adults make a concerted effort to make sure that the child's emotional needs are met in a positive, constructive, and a healthy manner. The parents should ensure that the child's care providers are stable and consistent and should not move them around to different child care providers during this important phase. My dear parents, you should ensure a child feels safe and secure with structured and consistent schedules and routines. Remember, my dear parents, that be sure to spend as much quality time with your child at this time as possible, regardless of your otherwise busy and hectic lifestyle. A child can sense that such a schedule is stressful to you and it can become a frightening or confusing element for them. And therefore, it is very important to take time out to reassure them that you are never too busy for them. Remember that your child's emotional well-being is just as important as their physical well-being. So, do your part to ensure your child knows he or she is growing up safe, secure, treasured, and loved. And that's all for our parenting tips today. Thank you my dear parents for watching. If you like the video or you learned something, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day with your little ones. Enjoy being with them my dear parents. Bye bye and I hope to see you on my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.